Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is HUD, the project and deproject nodes. The project and deproject nodes are intended to give us the ability to transform between the HUD or the viewport space, the 2D XY, and the game XYZ world space. It allows us to really simply do it. It works out fairly easily. So let's go ahead and look at how this is done. Let me show you the notes first and then I'll show you the examples for each one. The first one we're gonna go with is project. Project basically takes a 3D world space vector and puts it into 2D screen coordinates. Or where in the world is this on my screen? That's the easiest way of thinking about it. And let me show you this example. I'm gonna project from this location. I wanna know where zero, zero, zero is in the world. Where is it at on my screen? And I'm gonna print it out. And this is the result we get. 640, 251, zero basically. If we look around with my mouse, we'll see this changing. This cube, the center of this cube represents zero, zero, zero. Now the center of that cube in relationship to my screen, the top left to the bottom right, represents this number. If I make it full screen, we'll notice it changes. If I make it smaller, we'll notice it changes. And of course, as I change it, the numbers change. My X and my Y on my viewport or my HUD is changing. Therefore, my values of where it is is gonna change as well. So let's take a look at this. Top left is zero, zero. So if we move that cube up to be up there in that top left, you'll notice our numbers getting closer to zero, zero. If we move it to the top right, it should be closer to X, our full width, which is 1920, and Y, which is zero. So if I look down, you notice we can get it closer to something like, you know, 1900 by zero. Z really doesn't matter. We're using X and Y. So where on our screen is it? You know, bottom right corner is going to give us something near our 1920 by 1080 number. And it's going to go like that. So it's useful if like you want to put something on your screen or you need to draw something in a certain spot and you need to know where it is. For example, since the HUD's used often for debugging, we could simply attach text to this position on the screen and update it. So that way this could indicate, for example, A, another box could be B, and it could always be shown on the screen in the appropriate position. Now, if I went ahead and hooked up my player character and did the same thing, we should get the same approximate result like you'd expect. My character is here on the screen. My center point or my origin or my location I'm checking against is roughly the middle of the body, which is roughly the middle of my screen. So you can see 960 on the X is exactly half of my X. This is a 1920 screen, so 960 is in the middle. And this is saying if you go down 555 units, that's where this is at. And you'll notice no matter where I move, I'm going to get roughly the same result. Because I'm checking in the world where this character is, so it's going to give me a location, and then saying, okay, that location, where is it on your screen? And since the middle of my character never changes, it's always centered, as you can see, we're going to get that value. Now, of course, when I go up, our Y is going to change a little bit because our center of mass may be here. But as we make it smaller, of course, it's going to change slightly. You know, our center may be here, which is up taller, and then it'll go back down to smaller. So that is our project node. Basically, where in 3D space is this 2D value on our screen? The opposite of that is our D project. Now, for this one, what I'm going to do, first of all, D project takes in an X and a Y. It's going to say, okay, on our screen, what is that 3D location? And which direction is it from us, our current rotation? We're going to feed in the middle of our screen. I'm basically grabbing our controller, grabbing our viewport size, dividing it by two, and plugging it in. So where on the center of our screen is this world position at? Basically, what that's going to mean is, where is my character, this center point on the character, in the world? Now we've already determined this cube is zero, zero, zero. So as I get closer to it, you'll notice the value is changing. Now here's something to keep in mind. Now it may seem weird that I'm sitting here and my character's next to this thing and we have weird values like native 300. 
I thought I said that this cube was zero, zero, zero. Well, it is. And we're trying to get, based on the information I'm feeding in, what the location is. But I'm feeding in from the player controller the information. The key there is going to be when I feed in the player controller and I get the viewport size and I deproject, it's grabbing the position in here for the deprojection for the targeting of where the camera is at. That's the key here. My camera, let's go ahead and go here and hit play and we'll eject. It's a third person character, which means my camera is over here looking down. So when I repossess and I move my character to here, you notice negative 300, negative 17. If we eject again and look at our character here, we try to find our camera right here. Our camera, our boom itself and our camera, obviously we're going to have an issue because it's on a camera boom, but it's roughly negative 300 on the X and we're off a little bit from the center. So that's why when we're doing that projection here, the D project node, we're getting it based on this information, which is from the camera of the player. So you need to keep that in mind. When you're deprojecting, it's going to go from where the camera is, not necessarily where the player is. So even though you might be thinking, oh, well, where's this at? No, it's based on our camera and our camera is pulled back from our character. So you need to keep that in mind. The other value that comes out of here is our direction. And this is simply rotational values. Which direction is this value that we're looking at x equals one let me close this down hit play eject out grab our character x equals one because it is positive x that we're facing if i was to turn to the left here's our positive y we should get a negative y facing one we'll repossess and turn to the left now we have basically zero negative one because we're facing left we should get a positive negative x we should get a positive y. And then of course, looking up and down, we're gonna get positive z and negative z. Basically, which direction are we facing? And the usefulness for that is with our location and our direction, we could technically use a line trace and know which way is forward in our world from whatever we're trying to deproject. Now these are very similar nodes to some of the other ones that are existing in the system right now, which is the um, conversion nodes. We have the convert screen location to world space, convert world location to screen location, and convert mouse location to world space. These two nodes here, convert screen location and convert world location, basically do the same function as the deproject and project nodes, except these are on the player itself, not on the HUD. They are pretty much interchangeable. You can check those videos out if you want more information and some more examples. But for the most part, this is a pretty simple setup, project, converts 3D to 2D, where in the world is this item on my screen, deproject 2D to 3D. Okay, something's on my screen, in 3D space, where is it actually at, and which direction is it facing? And that's it, that is our project and deproject nodes. Again, very similar to the convert screen location and convert world location nodes. Feel free to check those videos out for more information. And that's gonna wrap up this video.